welcome back to RC Icons. So in this video, another one. Another one. There's a car in here that I bought strictly for the track. So it's a little bit different. It's not just vintage. I don't even know that I would consider it vintage. I actually kind of own the car already, but I can't run the one I got. It was a gift. This one is absolutely getting run. And I've got a chassis protector that was given to me for it already. It's going to be cool, cool, cool. And then there's some parts in here that are going to allow me to run two other TRF cars. Can't wait to run them. Um, but the parts in here are going to allow me to do it. So let me get the camera over here. We'll open this thing up. And then uh, I've got another one of those like part slots uh, where it was just a bunch of parts. Wait until you see this. Unbelievable. See you in a second. Yeah, this is a big one. So... Nothing in here it was stuff that I was like particularly looking for. Although most of the stuff from Bayi is like that. It's just something I come across and then like have to have it. But I'm super excited about it because it allows me to do a couple of things. It allows me to do a couple of things. So, I think I know what's in this one. I'm always on the hunt for shocks. You guys know I've got tons of TRF shocks and all kinds of shocks. Shocks to me are some of the hardest things to find that are good. You saw me bring in a TF2 a while back. Carbon chassis had no shocks on it. Then a TF1 that has a two speed both Kyosho so touring force I've got the three the GT1 Lotus I've got the touring force two that I had picked up for 37 bucks but it was missing the shocks and then I had bought the TF1 for whatever it was like 40 bucks and it had the Kyosho two speed on it and I've got two of those two speeds brand new um, but the TF1 it's the same chassis as the Optima mid well these came up and they are the dampers. They're the same ones that are on my TF3. Um, they're for the TF2 as well. So I picked them up. They're brand new. These are, I believe these are uh, velvet touring car shocks from Kyosho. 20 bucks for a full set. Uh, and then... I've ended up with a set of vintage original high caps, right? So egress, um, they're not the short, short ones. No, uh, they might be top force. I'm sorry. Top force, um, originals. So those were, I think 30 bucks. Uh, so I picked them up and then I came across this. So I watched a video from Martin, Martin Harold's RC. It's probably two months ago by the time you guys see this. And I mentioned this in the egress uh, restoration videos, the Richard Fox egress restoration videos, that Martin had gotten two sets of these. And I ended up finding a set on Baye, so I bought them. So they're the original packaging vintage high caps so martin got two full sets two rears two fronts um i ended up with a full set but if you look inside there that is the damper stay that you need for the avanti it comes with the uh, the, the extension in the front so these are essentially for for the avanti Although it does not say Avanti anywhere on the packaging, but I know that shock tower because I have an original set and it has the shock tower with it. So Martin, you'll have to tell me in the comments if your fronts have the Avanti shock tower in it. I'm curious to know. Um, 
I want to do this one last because this is this is the lot of just RC parts and that is absolutely epic. So I'm going to do this next. So this is going to allow me to run two different cars that I already own that I wouldn't otherwise be able to run. And one of them is actually ready to go already. So this was a, a lot. TRF-801. So that's a decal set for the X and the XT. Oh, that's 801X. It doesn't even have the XT decals. I've got XT decals as well. So this is the buggy set. Which is cool, cool, cool. It might even have... It feels really thick. Almost like there's two sets in there. I have XT decals as well. Um, so, you ready for this? XT chassis. X chassis. My X is new in box, but if I run it, I know I'm going to scratch the chassis. X body set. And I've already got one of these. XT body set. So my XT is built and it's got a white body on it already. You guys saw it in an unboxing a while back. It's already converted to brushless. My X, the buggy, is brand new in box. Still needs to be built. And I've got... The RC Monster, I think it is. Yeah, RC Monster brushless conversion right here for it. Um, but if I ran the car and scratched the chassis, I'd be pissed. And if I broke the body or damaged the body after paying to get a TRF paint job, I'd be pissed. So this allows me to have an extra body and have an extra chassis for both my XT and my X. So that means I can run them bar messing up the arms or whatever. Um, they will still look absolutely mint when I'm done with them. I can rehab them essentially with a new body shell and a new chassis and then put it on the shelf when I'm done. So that right, that was 75 bucks for both. I've never seen an X body set for sale ever. Never. Uh, that's the first 801 X body I've ever seen. The XT you can still get. Uh, Tamiko has them. I don't think Tamiya USA has them anymore, but Tamiko has them. Tamiya USA still has the XT chassis and potentially the X chassis. I'm not sure. Uh, they're discounted big time though. They're like 40 bucks now. Uh, I paid 80 for the two bodies, the two chassis, and the decal set, which to me is a buy ye bargain. Buy ye bargain! So this is the car that I bought. I know Mark, uh, Dennis Harold is probably like flipping out right now because of that. <laughs> He's a big TRF guy. And uh, he knows how hard it is to find some of those parts. So to get all that in one lot is absolutely insane. All right. So this one first. So I bought this just for a runner on the track. Now, I got a Frankenstein of this car a while back as a thank you from Jason at um, JRB Motorcycle. And it is Kyosho RB 6.6 .6. so he had given me that uh, it's like a camel yellow I call it the 7.6 because it's a RB 7 chassis and everything else is RB 6 but it's got the three gear and the four gear lay downs it's got the three and the four gear upright gearboxes so that is cool as hell. And then this actually has the lay down as well. Um, because that was a gift from Jason, I really did not want to run that car. Um, so this came up on Baye. 
absolutely brand new. Um, brand new belt, never run with the lay down. I'm not sure if the six came lay down or not, but this is set up lay down. And because of all the parts that Jason sent me, I've got more parts than I'll ever need to ever fix this car. Plus there's a pile of parts inside. But for like a more of a modern day two wheel drive, just to play with around the track, um, this is the car. So cool as hell. I mean, I'd love to run some of my XMs and XRs, but I just won't be able to bring myself to do it. Whereas this one, absolutely no problem running it. Um, so it came with two wings, a black one and a white one. And then pile of parts. There's two new gear covers in there. There's all kinds of stuff in here. And then along with what Jason sent me, there's the upright gearboxes there. So that's a three gear vertical gearbox. Diff grease. Ball cups. Is the four gear upright gearbox. So like all the same parts that I got from Jason. Um, shock towers, all kinds of stuff in here. New bumpers, manual decals, the whole nine yards. So this will give me everything that I need to be able to run this car in anger on my track, have fun with it and not have to worry at all about really anything if something breaks i most likely have it if not it's readily available still on ebay this car came up on Bai, and I, I really wasn't looking for it like to buy it but it was so cheap that i had to buy it um how much do you think i bought this car for put it in the comments Put it in the comments. This is a buy ye bargain. This car cost me $79. <laughs> 79 bucks for a brand new RB 6.6. .6. I, I kind of feel bad for the seller because I don't know. Don't ask me why uh, nobody bid on it at $79, but nobody did. And I did, and I won it for the opening bid. So for 79 bucks, I got a brand new RB 6.6 .6 ready to go on, on the track. This thing is going to be awesome. You, you know when you, you put, it's funny, it's got Tam, Tamiya tires on it. Kyosho Sand Supers in the front. Look at the bearings. <laughs> How smooth is that? Just keeps going and going and going and going. 80 bucks sold. I'll take that all day long. So yeah, this whole lot was kind of like just stuff that allows me to run. Run the track. And this package as well. So this is just random RC parts. Uh, like that mystery box I had bought in back back whenever it was, way back, two months ago, three months ago. Although a lot of the parts in that mystery box were kind of useless to me. This is not the case. So I saw this come up. And the pictures were a little bit hard to decipher what you were getting in the pile of parts. But there was definitely enough to be seen to make it worth it. So first off, a Tamiya NIM and NICAD charger. Not that I need one, but there's one here. It looks like it's, yeah, it's just a charger. Uh, I don't really need it. And then an ACDC radio control parts, ABC hobby. Trickle, discharge, fast charge. 
I'm not sure. It goes up to 5 amp, right? So just another old school charger. I don't think I have the power cord for this one. I may. I'm not sure. Uh, it's not in here, I don't think. Blazer Radio, which I actually got one of these. I think it was a Sanwa. A Sanwa Blazer. I can't remember. 27 megahertz. Uh... I got one of these with my RM01. Again, not what I was buying it for. So this is what I was buying it for. I paid $160 for this lot. So twice what the RB6.6 was. And you're gonna see why right here. So there's a ton, there was a ton TA06 cross shafts for diff gear diff i don't own an xv01 but there's a ton of xv01 parts in here so xv01 k parts xv01 slipper xv01 slipper xv01 e parts which are rear uprights xv01 aluminum steering XV01 C parts, front uprights, another set of E parts, rear uprights. Again, I don't have an XV01. Rear carbon damper, front carbon damper, F parts, suspension arms, another set of suspension arms, another set of suspension arms, another set of front uprights, another set of rear uprights. Another slipper clutch, so that's three slipper clutches. Another arm. And then there was two sets of drift springs for the XV01. So that's all stuff for a car that I don't own. Again, that's not why I bought it. This is why I bought it. 160 bucks now. Original Sport Tune Motor. Absolutely mint condition. Call that 20 bucks. An Atlas XL Plus 13 turn. Right? It's the purple one. Brand new in the package. Call that 20 bucks. Probably worth more, but we'll just call it 20. An Echo 23 turn. Uh, what is it? Man, is it the Mantis or something? Competition motor. It says Ultima on it. Brand new in the package. We'll call that 20 bucks. Yokomo Pro Stock 2, 27 turn. Call that 20 bucks. Yokomo Pro Stock 2, 27 turn. Call that 20 bucks. Yokomo Pro Stock 2 23 turn. Call that 20 bucks. And then two T5s. These are 100 bucks a piece. Like, if you can find a T50, it's going to run you all of $100. So I bought a brand new one four years ago when I started collecting because I saw Glenn put one in his uh, Evo 2 build. And mine, the one I have is an 11 turn double this is an, a 10 turn double this is a t50 11 turn double absolutely gorgeous motor brand new in the package and then a t40 12 turn double right so those two right there are like 200 by themselves never mind the other six six motors eight motors call them 20 bucks a piece there's the 160 right that's why i bought it so, six, eight motors in this lot, three Yokomo Pro 2s, two T0s, a 4 and a 5, a Sport Tune, an Echo, and an Atlas. Eight motors. Boom. That's awesome. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I didn't really care about the XV01 stuff. I didn't really care about the Chargers, and I really didn't care about the Blazer. I was looking at this strictly as a motor lot. Um, I can't believe all those motors were in this lot all in one shot. Super stoked to have them because these are hot motors. The, the T0 motors are absolutely insane. Um, awesome for, for off-road buggies. Uh, they're almost 50,000 RPM. 
I mean, they're they're absolutely hot, hot motors. So they made a T4 and a 12.2. They made a T5 and a 10, 10T and a, an 11T, both dual wind. Those are the, I have both of those now. And then they made a T6 and a 12, uh, 7T to 12T, two wind. So that's crazy. The T4, they only did it in the 12 turn double. But the T6, they went all the way down to a 7. Um, insane. So I'm fine with running those. You know what I mean? So this, all of these motors are running motors for me. My other T50 will probably be in my motor collection. But th this allows me to just have cars like ready to go without using some of my other vintage motors. The Pro Stock 2s, I don't, like, they're fine. Like, I don't really care. They're not, they're not vintage motors for me they're just runner motors for me so cool as hell um i'm gonna get this cleaned up i'm gonna get this cleaned up and i'll bring you in for a closing so that's gonna do it for this episode of rc icons you guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think of the haul we're gonna get to see both 801s running on the track next year as well as the rb6.6 I forget the point six part. Coolest part about that is when Jason sent me that seven point six, he sent me a chassis protector for it. I actually have an RB six point six chassis that's got a couple scratches as well. He sent me that with the car along with that huge haul of parts. That was a thank you for the XM and the XR that I had helped them with. Um, it was kind of a trade. Uh, and that's cool, but I he put so much time and effort into that car, I really don't want to run it. So this one will allow me to run it, and for eighty bucks, I mean, I, I can't, I can't think of a two wheel drive buggy that I can buy for eighty bucks that's capable like this thing is going to be. Um, should be absolutely awesome on that track surface and everything, and it is so smooth, and it's got the lay down in it. I don't know something about it. Treats the hell out of me. Big bore shocks. It's got the big bore velvets on it too. Cool, cool, cool. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd ask you to consider subscribing and support the channel. Um, turn on your notifications. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the haul. Eight motors for 160 bucks, and they're awesome motors. I think these are all by e bargains. All of it, to be completely honest. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You know the deal. Until next time. We'll see you soon. Thanks.